Hey guys, so here we are and we are ready to start our very hungry caterpillar craft. Um, I know I told you to gather your empty egg cartons. So the first thing you're gonna do, and you should probably ask a grown up for help with this part, is you are going to cut off the part like this, but save this, cause that's gonna be useful for mixing paint. If there's an end tab like this, you can cut that off also. That's garbage, you don't need that. And then you have your egg carton part and you wanna cut this in half, right down the middle. And again, ask a grown up for help. It's not that hard. This is very soft cardboard, but you wanna cut it until it's completely in half. Okay, so then you have two pieces and then you can trim it up if you need to. Make sure they're standing on ground like this, okay? Now, you're going to need some paint. If you don't have paint, use markers, crayons, or something else. Markers would be better for this project than crayons, but I'll show you the paints that we use. We just have a basic set of craft paints um, that I have here, and these are just like any kind of craft paint. Even the little kinds that come in the little pots that come with other arts and crafts, you can use that. Um, and you could use your empty tray as a mixing station. Um, so I squeezed a little bit of paint here onto my mixing tray. And then with a brush, you just need a brush, you dip in and always start with the lighter color first. So if you're gonna make a green hungry caterpillar like I did here, then you're going to start with the lightest color green, um, paint your egg carton crate. It does not have to be perfect because we want it to look very much like Eric Carl. And Eric Carl, it looks kind of textury and scratchy and like that. So then I would dip in the darker and sort of just like sponge it on. So I painted my head red. So this one's already dry. So now I'm gonna show you how to add the eyes and the antenna. So for the eyes, you can do it any way you want. If you have googly eyes, then you can use googly eyes. I don't have googly eyes here. So I'm just using some scraps of paper and I am gonna cut a big oval out of my gold paper and then I'm gonna cut a second one because the caterpillar has two eyes. And so right now I have two gold circles and then I'm gonna cut two black ones a little smaller to go on the inside. And again, you can use any colors you want. It does not have to be black. I happen to have these scraps of paper, so I'm just using whatever I have laying around. Now, um, Elmer's glue is fine for this. If you're using Elmer's glue, you have to give it proper time to let it dry. Um, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun here just to show you because it dries very fast, but you should not use a hot glue gun without your parents' permission, and you might not even have a hot glue gun. So you do the best you can and you can even use um, some tape, some some tape rolled up if you want. So I, all I did was glue on my black circle to the gold circle. So there is my two eyes. And now I'm gonna glue, and again, I'm using my hot glue gun because it's showing you guys faster how to glue it. But you can use Elmer's glue and then let it dry. So. Here we go for the eyes for the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And now I'm gonna show you how to do an antenna. So I have pipe cleaners. Um, I, I'm twisting together two. You don't have to twist the other two. You can totally do one. I'm just doing it for a color. Um, if you don't have pipe cleaners, get a little creative. You can maybe use yarn and have like floppy antennas. Um, you can use a piece of wire if you have wire from maybe a hanger. But again, I would ask your parents for something like that. But I happen to have a bucket of pipe cleaners here, so I'm gonna 
use pipe cleaner. So I'm twisting, 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 um, and I'm just twisting for fun. And then you can use a pen, okay? This is my favorite Marist um, pen. Oh, it's upside down. My favorite Marist pen because I went to Marist College. And inside, like right, right here, I'm gonna poke two holes. I'll show you after. Okay, I poked two holes, see that, at the top in the head. And now I'm gonna just stick my pipe cleaner through. Okay, and here's my pipe cleaner. And then you can use your finger or a pen and I'm gonna curl up my antenna. And again, if they're too long and you want shorter ones, just trim them when you're done. I kind of like them long. But then this is my finished Berry Hungry Caterpillar. And I also wanted to show you that Roslyn and Bianca made their own Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, so this is Bianca's and um, her favorite color is pink. So you could see if I show you up close, she used pink smudged with some red and she did a purple face. Um, and she is in kindergarten and this is how her um, pink caterpillar came out. And then this is Roslyn's. Um, and she got her caterpillar to bend. I'll show you how. Um, her favorite color is blue. So she did a blue hungry caterpillar. And um, she had the middle of the egg carton of a three pack. And because it was bendier than the others, we bent it. And on the inside, I hot glued, I twisted like four pipe cleaners together to make it strong. And so hers sits like that. So here's our little happy family of caterpillars, very hungry caterpillars in the style of Eric Carl. And last but not least, I just wanted to show you that Bianca wanted me to show you. This is a quilt that I made for her when she was a baby. She wasn't even born yet. And um, I've always loved the hungry caterpillar. So this is the hungry caterpillar. Um, made out of fabric and stitched onto her um, baby quilt. Uh, I just wanted to show you that and she wanted me to show you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the project. Have fun with it. Um, send me pictures of your finished work. I love it and have a great day. And remember to stay hydrated. Bye.